Hey everyone in the YouTube world, today um, I am going to be taking the Razor over here and getting the trailer and then putting a, uh, I think it's, I don't know, a 200 gallon tank or so on the trailer and then I'm going to fill it up just with my garden hose for this first time and then I'll be taking it to town um, and filling it up there where it only costs 50 cents versus, um, I don't really know how much it costs to fill it up. Let's see, it's it's like 20 bucks for a thousand gallons. So it costs like five bucks. So, all right, here we go. We're gonna go get that trailer. help so I have to do it all by myself. Not that it's hard or anything but just make things a lot easier. get the tank I should be able to handle that by myself, I'm not sure yet. But I'm pretty sure it's doable. I don't know where to put you guys so you can watch me do this because it might be interesting. Uh, well heck, I know right where I'll put you. How's about right here? Yeah, that'll work. Let's get rid of this junk. This is, uh, these are boards that I use for my cedar tables. You guys will see in a video, uh, I don't know, a few weeks or so. I'm gonna end up breaking this camera before the day is over. <sighs> the rate I'm going. How about right there? That work? All right, let me show you guys what I'm doing now. I'm uh, filling up this tank with a garden hose. I'm only doing it this time with my garden hose just so I can show you guys what I'm uh, what I'm doing. Um, so I ordered a Chinese half horse pump, and it doesn't, it won't pack the water from a well that I really wanted to get it from. It's too far and it's way too deep. So I'm gonna use this tank and I'm gonna cut a hole right here that, that the pump I'm, right here i don't know if you've seen that but i'm gonna cut a hole no, we're gonna be right here where my pump will fit in because it won't fit through that hole and uh, we'll go take a look at that pump so you guys can see it up close um 
I had cords upon cords upon cords ran from that thing all the way up here to the house. I had it, I had it way out there, and it just wouldn't pull it. Just, I, I don't think the electricity was a problem. It's just the size of the, it was just the size of the pump that I was using. So uh, I think it's gonna work great for this. Um, but eventually, eventually, I'd like to get a gutter. See, we didn't have a gutter on this thing, and it, it wasn't a problem. But now that I've built this deck, I need a gutter because every time it dews, every time it rains, that water comes right on here and it's just going to rot this deck out. But uh, I want to take a piece of gutter and run it from down there all the way over here and down this side of the house and into a holding tank um, for my garden. And then in the winter time I'll disconnect it because we won't need it then. But uh, my garden's right over there. So that's not too far, at least I sure wouldn't think. But here's the pump. This is the pump that I got for 30 bucks on eBay. Um, I can't tell you the brand. All it says is submersible sump pump. And I know there was some Chinese writing uh, on there whenever I did order it, so I know it came from China. And there's a lot of stuff that comes from China, don't get me wrong. And that's probably a good one, just not the right size. So, when we get this thing filled up, uh, I'll holler back at you. All right, guys, so I got my hole cut right there for the sump pump. And I'm going to go ahead and take this. And I'm going to lower this right down here all the way to the bottom when it goes. All right, I think it's on the bottom now, so. All right, go ahead and plug it in over there, little buddy, and we'll see if it comes on. I hear it. I hear it. Please work. Yay. Doesn't have very good pressure, though. <clears throat> Doesn't have very good pressure. That's, I mean, that's all we get right there. That's all we get. Oh well, guys, that's, I can move that around. That's no big deal, so. Now you know what we got. It's uh, pretty obvious now why that pump would not run it from the well over there. Uh, there's obviously not much water pressure, so um, I do know that I'm going to have to move it a whole lot farther that way to get the whole garden. Heck, I may have to move it four or five times to get this whole thing covered. Well, thanks for watching, guys. You guys know what I've what I've got going on here now. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would, please. See you later.